Hey guys, what is up? So today guys, I am going to show you how to display some system resources on your taskbar, kind of like you see right here. So let's take a look at how to do this. It's very simple. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you guys do is go down to the URL that is in the description below. It will bring you to this page. It's just a GitHub page. Everybody knows GitHub. Everybody loves GitHub. Uh, there's a lot of great resources on here. Um, so as you can see, it is, um, it's called Traffic Monitor, and it is in Chinese, most of it anyway. I mean, there's some of it in Chinese, some in English. Um, that's okay, it still works fantastically. Um, so if you scroll down here near the bottom, you'll have several download options. We went ahead and grabbed the X64. I've got a 64-bit machine. If you have a 32-bit, that's what the X86 down here is for. I've already downloaded this, so go ahead and grab whichever one suits you, the 64 or the 32-bit. And let me minimize this. Now, this is the download file. This is what downloaded. I already went ahead and right-clicked and hit Extract All. I extracted it to the desktop, so this is what we got here, this folder. So we'll go ahead and double-click on that. And when you do that, uh, you have Traffic Monitor. And then you'll scroll all the way down here and you'll see traffic monitor here. Let's go ahead and double click that to run it. Now you guys will probably get a pop-up box um, that's saying it might not be safe, etc., etc. Just go ahead and click um, more info or info on that. I can't remember what it is and run the application anyway. When you do that, you will be faced with this right here. Oh, what is this? Oh yeah, antivirus, no threats, good. Um, so you'll see this here, and by default, the only thing that's in here is your upload and download speed. Um, and that's not your actual full speed like right now. That's just kind of doing what your network's doing. Um, if you were downloading, you know, a file or something, it would show the true colors here. So, no, I'm not only running 31 kilobits per second on my internet speed. So, anyway, guys, to this is the actual application itself. If we right-click on this, uh, there's a lot of options here that you can go into. Um, and I'm not going to show you absolutely everything today, uh, but we're going to go into options down here. And I'll go through some of the basics. So first, right off the bat with the main tab here, you got main window settings and you got your colors and fonts. Uh, choose those fonts, you know, whatever's custom and good to you. Uh, you can change some display text. Uh, as far as the net speed, you can tell it bytes or bits. And, it, you know, always on top, which is what brought that little application there. Anyway, I like it there. Um, if we go here to window settings, uh, you got a little bit more about colors and fonts. Now, this is where the meat and potatoes is, basically. Uh, you've got a lot of different options here. And I'm just going to have you guys go through this really on your own. I, I haven't really gone through and seen everything this does just yet because I only wanted the, um, the display of the system resources on the taskbar. Um, so that's kind of all I've done. You got some general settings over here. Really cool stuff because you can have this program notify you when your CPU temp gets a certain temperature and GPU, stuff like that. So that is a very useful tool there. It will uh, monitor your CPU, GPU, hard drives, um, even your main board, which is kind of cool. But we're going to go back over here to taskbar window settings. And what we're looking for is right down here where it says display settings. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you can actually show what you want it to display. Um, so it has everything that I want it to display. Um, and you can even go in here and say, for instance, you want your upload and download speed at the top. You can do upload, move up, move up download, move up, move up. So you can actually put them in the order that you would like them, or you can restore to default uh, if you mess that up or decide you don't want something like that and start all over. So since I've already selected those, we're gonna hit okay. And I'm just gonna apply that. And as you see, it does not appear down here just yet. So what you have to do in order to get that to happen, let's just okay on this and we can right click this and you'll go down here and click show taskbar window. And as you can see, here we are. It will give you your upload and download. See what that's doing. 
and your current memory usage and your current CPU usage. Um, so it's actually a really easy way to view that stuff. Otherwise, you have to go into your task manager, like right click here, go to task manager, wait for that to open, and then go into your performance down here. And then you can kind of see the same, same stuff here. But you can just have this right on hand, right down here. And if you decide that you only want memory CPU, uh, just right click, go to options, taskbar window settings and display settings. And remember, you can just uh, uncheck what you don't want. Let's apply that. And it takes it down to memory and just CPU. But, um, but yeah, guys, it's a really cool tool to have. It's really nice to be able to see this on the fly. If you want to keep this here and you don't want this floating around your desktop, you just right click this and then you unclick show main window. And that part will go away. If you want it back, just go down here, right click, and then click show main window and it will come back. So me, I don't like it on the desktop. Um, I just want this down here. And that is how you do it, guys. Anyway, like I said, super quick video, really cool tool to have. Give it a shot. If this is helpful to you, give me a thumbs up. And if you tried it, let me know down in the comments below. And please consider subscribing. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.